Hello, hello. It is 8.53. It is Monday. It is Monday evening. I just want to come on and make a quick video. I was off the whole weekend and I felt like poop the whole weekend. I did not feel good. I so did not feel good. So we just laid around like lazy slugs, not feeling good. But um, Friday, I did get up and first thing I went and got my nails done. It's usually that purple color or this pink color. Anyway, got my nails done. Nine o'clock in the morning. I went to the Walmart that I always go to because they, you know, my nail place. Um, and I got done around, I don't know, 1030 because I had to pick up a few things, of course. And then I walk out to the car and I pop my trunk and my license plate was off of my car. Someone stole the license plate off my car. Just one, because in Virginia, you have two. You have one in the front, one in the back. They took the back. Someone took my, took my, and I was parked up front at Walmart. I wasn't parked like in the back and it wasn't like late at night. It was like nine, 10 o'clock in the morning. So I was like, what in the hell? I drove all the way home like that with the front tag in the front. Cause I didn't, I, I put it, I put the front tag in the back when I got home because at least I wanted because I felt oh I was like oh my god they're gonna stop me um but then I called the non-emergency line and I told them and I reported the tag stolen so they said basically right now I'm driving around with a stolen tag but they gave me a number like if I was to get stopped to show this the police officer the number that they gave me until I go to DMV which I'm gonna um go online and make an appointment and do it for Saturday because I have Saturday off to get new plates. But damn, why do people do that? I mean, I guess for the stickers, but then just scrape the damn sticker off, you know? I mean, I get it. I get it. I mean, not, I mean, I'm not going to go stealing plates. I don't think, but I mean, yeah, people steal the stickers, but don't take my plates because the whole time, because they could be driving up and down the Jordan Bridge, the Jordan River Bridge, driving through the tunnels. But since I reported it stolen, I mean, I guess they can't really do that now because it'll get pinged stolen. Because I don't want to be charged going through the tunnel, going over that bridge. Yeah, so I'm just driving around with the one on the back and nothing in the front, which, and I guess it's that they, it's, I'm glad they didn't take both of my tags and they didn't vandalize my car because I, that's the next thought. I was like, oh my God, did they vandalize? They didn't. Nothing's wrong with the car. Nothing got vandalized or anything like that. But it was just like, well, damn it. But, you know, it's fine. At least I have Saturday off that I can go up to DMV. And hopefully when I make the appointment, I'll just be in and out because, you know, DMV is like going to the devil. Hopefully I won't be in there for hours and hours and hours. But yeah, um, XO and I were not feeling good this weekend, um, but we are feeling, I have just started to feel a lot better today. And today at work um, was actually a pretty good Monday for the mail. It wasn't terrible. It rained, but that's okay. It's okay. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but again, it's okay. You have to accept it at some point. But it was a good day, um, and I just wanted to check in with you and say hello. I hope that you all are doing well, doing good. I hope you had a good weekend. I'm pretty excited that I got, um, I'll have um, next weekend off again. I'll have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So, And when I got there today, I was ready for my manager to tell me that uh, she was going to mandate me to work, you know, Saturday because you know, with my day off being Monday, they have to give me a blah, 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 blah. So now my, my day off is Saturday, but she did not. And on the schedule, it has me off on Saturday. Tomorrow is my oldest son's birthday. Um, so I'm trying to get with him because I don't know if I'm going to take something over to him tomorrow after work or this weekend when I'm off. Um, so I just have to get with him. But yeah, my oldest son, it's crazy. 28. That's crazy. 
I feel so, I, I can't believe he's 28. I mean, I'm going to be 46 in April, but damn, getting old. I mean, he's not getting old. Well, we're all getting old, but damn, gosh darn it, I'm getting old, 46. Which I know there are obviously people older than I am. Uh, Bill is, will be, Bill will be 52 in June, and XO will be 16 uh, in September, which is crazy. Currently, what am I doing? Currently, I am working on, um, I have a recipe book where you can write the recipes in the book, you know, yourself, write them down. Um, I've been writing out recipes for XO for when I'm like, <laughs> that's what I, I was like, hey, I'm writing these recipes out for you for when you're older and I'm, <laughs> so you know how to cook. I mean, I try to teach XO, you know, cooking and stuff, but yeah, I've been writing these recipes out like tomorrow's my last day here. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been working on. Let me, I'm going to show it to you. It's nothing special. I've had this thing for years. I don't know. I just thought I'd, I wanted to add to it and start putting recipes in it. Things like that. Um, I made a Boston cream pie and I wrote the whole thing out on these papers and it took four pa four pages back to back of the Boston cream uh, pie recipe. That's how much I, look at all that. In intense. That was a lot. Um, four pages of that. Um, but I made it and it was really good. Uh, but yeah, I've been working on this, just thinking of like all the recipes that like XO likes me to make and little things and, you know, like how to cook rice. But I feel like that's something you just have to know how to do. You know what I'm saying? And since I feel like, you know, I'm part Filipino, that that's just in my blood to make rice. I don't have a rice maker. You know, great. If you have a rice maker, go ahead. But I just, I am a rice maker. Uh, but anyway, that's my big thing right now is doing this. Um, I'm waiting on... When I talked about the um, life insurance, so I'm trying to get additional life insurance. I'm waiting on, uh, in the mail, I guess they're going to give me the yes or no. Because they sent me a letter last week. They sent me a letter asking me, um, it was like four questions. If I did drugs, how much I weighed, how tall I was. And like if I was like dying or something. Because they were like, we have reason to believe that you have a health disease. And I was like, What? No, I don't have, which I was offended by these questions, not about my weight. Like they got to ask me those things, but out there, right. They started out with, they started with, we have reason to believe that you have health condition, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, dude, I don't have any health conditions. So I was like, I don't know who you're talking about. So I filled the questions back out and mailed it in. So I don't even know what they're going to say. And I thought you could just go get life insurance, but it's proving to be not easy. So we'll see what they say. I got everything mailed out for um, the insurance for XO. I faxed everything and then I expressed it. Because when I faxed it, it wasn't going through. So I was like, oh Lord. So then I expressed it. Then when I went back to the fax machine at work to get the papers back, it had sent it through. So they got you know, doubly they got the information. And somebody commented on that video that why not have Exo's dad put them on their insurance? That would be great. But you have to have a job first. <laughs> Just, I mean, you do. You have to have a job. And I'm the one with the job, which is fine. And hopefully they got everything they needed. And I went with just the standard insurance. I didn't do the one with the cope, the, um, the deductible. I didn't do the one with the deductible. And, you know, if everything is good and they approve everything and I've picked everything right, you know, we'll see how this goes this year. And then 
maybe I don't like it, then I'll pick the, we'll change it in November, but I just need to get it going. So hopefully, hopefully they got everything and we're good to go and I'll get a letter soon saying that we're good to go. But I guess that's all I've got for you tonight. I just, we were blah, slugs, lazy, not feeling well the whole weekend, but anyway, we're back on track. Uh, I hope that you are feeling well this weekend. I hope you have a good work week. I hope I have a good work week. I hope everyone comes to work because today was kind of nice. I got done at like 4.45 on a Monday. So, and Because last Monday I had like um, eight trays of mail. And today I only had three, which was is the norm for me. So it was a good day. I am going to go ahead and go. It's 9.05. I'm going to take Vincent out and I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to go to bed. I did not want to get up this morning. I was not. I was not feeling it. But anyway, oh, I hope you have a good Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is Wednesday. Do you have any plans? Are you going out? I don't know if Bill and I are going to, we might, we're going to get each other something, but I don't know that, and maybe we'll go out this weekend. I don't know, but it's not like, oh, I got to go out for Valentine's Day, which, you know, some people love it and that's great. And I know like the young people, it's love and wonderful. You know, I think that's wonderful, but I don't know. I just like now... I don't really need to do all that, you know, and, and if you do great, that's great, but I'm just, maybe it's cause I'm getting older. I don't know. It's just not a big, I'm going to get a card and I'm gonna get him a card and a present and happy Valentine's day. <laughs> and I think that's all we need to do for us. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I feel like as I'm getting older, things like that are changing for me that it's not just Bill and I, I feel like we have a really good relationship and we get along and he's great and he's great with XO and that's great. And just that. And I mean, I love him. I do. Um, but I don't know. It's different, you know? It's different than it was, obviously, with Eddie. I felt like with Eddie, I was just holding on and trying to hold on and, like, trying to keep, you know? Like, trying to... And I'm not anymore. I'm like, all right. <laughs> but in, in, a, in a good, good, calm, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Just at ease. You know what I mean? Like, it's just nice. You get, you get what I'm saying? I don't think I'm explaining it right, but anyway, I'm going to go now. I will talk to you later. As always, I will talk to you later. Bye everyone.